This video will take a closer look into how scientists use drug agents to help the immune system discover and fight cancer cells. Immunotherapies are treatments that restore or enhance the immune system's ability to combat infections or diseases and is now being used to fight cancer. It increases the strength of the immune response to tumours. There are several different types of immunotherapy including non-specific immune stimulation, adaptive cell transfer, vaccination and immune checkpoint blockade. These treatments boost the immune system in a general way. Immune system proteins can be modified in vitro to attack cancer cells. Vaccines can also be used to boost the immune system's attack against cancer cells. By blocking immune checkpoints, these drugs essentially remove the breaks of the immune system, enhancing the recognition and attack of cancer cells. So what are immune checkpoints? T-cell activation requires antigen presentation in the context of an MHC molecule in addition to the co-stimulatory signal achieved when B7 on an antigen-presenting cell interacts with CD28 on a T-cell. To maintain immunologic homeostasis early after T-cell activation, cytotoxic T-lymphocyte associated protein 4, or CTLA4, is translocated to the plasma membrane where it downregulates the function of T-cells. Programmed cell death 1, or PD-1, is a checkpoint protein on T-cells which acts like an off switch when it binds to its ligand PDL1. This interaction inhibits T-cell proliferation, survival and effector function. It also induces the apoptosis of tumor-specific T-cells. Some cancer cells overexpress PDL1, which could help them to evade the immune attack. The events of generating and regulating anti-tumor immunity suggest at least three sites for therapeutic intervention. The first is by promoting the antigen presentation functions of dendritic cells, as the response begins with the capture of tumor-associated antigens by the dendritic cells. These are either delivered exogenously or captured from dead or dying tumor cells. The second is by promoting the production of protective T-cell responses. The dendritic cells process the captured antigen and migrate to draining lymph nodes. If capture and presentation occurred in the presence of an immunogenic maturation stimulus, then dendritic cells will elicit anti-cancer affected T-cell responses in the lymph node. If no such stimulus was received, T-cell deletion energy or the production of T-reg cells will occur. The third is through overcoming immune expression in the tumour bed. CD28 interaction with CD80 and 86 will promote potentially protective T-cell responses, while interaction of CTLA4 with CD80 and 86 or PD-1 with PD-L1 and PD-L2 will suppress T-cell responses and possibly promote T-reg formation. Immunotherapy is less toxic than radiation and chemotherapy and less invasive than surgery. It also produces immunomemory, which is an effect which produces longer-lasting remission. This different mode of attack on cancer cells provides both patients and doctors with a potential new treatment against cancer.